So this is actually the first time for me that the uh, GitHub Copilot gave a better response than uh, GPT-4. So over here, we try to normalize the power with each, each uh, frequency band because this display can see this number showing um, absolute uh, values. We want them all to be, say, between 0 and 1. By the way, this is the only case we actually get a different note before I like, was getting C3, F3, B3, E4. And for this, what is it, five seconds of VG, I get the C sharp instead of C. That's not good enough. We want way more variability in the nodes. So that's what we will be addressing today. And GPT-4 was suggesting doing it uh, manually instead of using math min max functions only when prompted to use math min max it's uh, producing the same uh, response as the github uh, copilot check if github copilot uh, made any other changes so i have this normalized uh, power so yes it's making other changes as well no, it's just the structure of it is it uh, we can insert into the code yes yeah, so we calculate min max is straight from the array and let's comment this out quickly let's try it out and save notes play it let's check if that code is actually working and let's console log it don't need this comment console log in max power why is it 60? Yeah, it's doing it for each um, band, which is clear. Okay, some errors as well. That doesn't look right. So doing it for the whole spectrum. So we need to turn this off. Right, this is better. So we'll have a 1296, and then the next power, yeah, will be just under 12 in the whole spectrum turned off by default but we can do it in uh, html we can do this with uh, github copilot and yeah, this switch can explain this for us quickly i assume that's the default value uh, how to change default just remove the check that checked attribute let's try this here yeah, control five yeah, let's check the values. Um, yeah, mean power is around zero. Max power 396, that makes sense. And then we have 196. Yep, that makes sense. Get some errors as well. Frequency undefined in JavaScript. Line 86. All right, so this duration is one uh, by default. I think we're setting it at 2.5. A volume should be fine. We're getting an invalid frequency. That's interesting. What is the frequency? It's just missing. Normalized powers, map noise. We get the nodes, so the nodes to frequency conversion. A potential doesn't work. Yeah, this node to frequency conversion might be producing something funny. And let's call this frequency. And then return frick. That's right. We want to monitor frick log a console. So it can generate a will return note and the frequency component. Let's do that. See where the error is coming from. Node C3. Well, that's a different error. Frequency B3, frequency E4, frequency. Okay, the notes and frequency conversion seem to work fine. But I'm getting something undefined. It's a bit odd. So technical issue, I can hear the notes being played. So where that error is coming from? Well, I know where it's coming from. I don't know why I'm getting it. It's currently converts the names to frequencies. So that's happening. So I'm already doing this. Yeah, that error went away. Yeah, I was getting the same notes. I show for channel four. It's not working anymore. Let's just double check delta. Should be in 155 or something. Power. Yeah, it's this one here, 163. 163, and the second one is 31. It's that one there. So that's legit. So scroller. 
always get the same notes playing, which is not great. F notes always the same, uh, even after automatically varying a min and max power. Use some help with this one. Remain the same after normalization regime suggests that the issue might not be with the normalization process, but rather with the how EG data is being interpreted and or mapped to musical nodes. Review the EG variability. Uh, yes, it does vary quite a bit. So control F5. And varying the volume. Should we vary the volume with amplitude? Yeah, that kind of makes sense. So there is enough variability. Let's check the function and let's explain it with github copilot if what to do the same function is responsible for converting eg eg data function begins by normalizing power function maps each normalized power to musical note using map power note mapping is done within a specific range of notes for each type of brainwave for example, delta waves are mapped to nodes between C3 and E3. Yes, that's normalization is not uh, great enough, is it? Yes, so if we're always getting C3, F3, B3, E4, it's always in the low side of the range. So there's not enough variability. But we're already doing this. I thought we're already doing a look uh, rhythmic. Uh, find the log. No, not that type of log. Should be math log. Uh, the scale it's not cool i'm pretty sure we had something so we're not looking at the python script at the moment we're trying to do as much as possible in javascript yeah i thought we already have the non-linear mapping but uh, have the normalized powers yeah we're already doing that i don't know what you're talking about map power to node yeah this bit has to generate this function so this one would not be using get note range to so get note index every time you ask it something at them um, adding another function do we have to have another function can we just modify the existing ones it's passing integer already have it in get note range i could change the code to enhance sensitivity something went wrong let's try this one and get the github copilot working as well it's not generating anything okay now it is this legit let's comment this function out so we're expanding the range of the nodes alpha beta into log map nodes okay we'll do a log there it's always the same notes still. C three, C four. Yeah, just doing the first, the first notes. Channel seven. And there's some sort of perceived volume change, but that's actually not uh, changing. No, getting the same notes. So we tried increasing the range. We actually log that variability. Do we have a console? We do have a uh, no. We had one that we manually saved. How do we do that? I get it properly. Those work okay. Let's remove those logs for now. Yes, yeah, so it this do we expect much normalized powers. Yeah, the normalized powers are super low. 0 0.06. Yeah, so there's not much variability in the normalized powers. It's scaling from zero to one. Yeah, it seems like obviously the problem is that the change in normalized powers is too small. So this function is currently not being used. Why? Nothing to help us tonight because it suggests that this change that also means we have to revert to the previous uh, version of map uh, eg data to nodes. Something seems to have gone wrong. So we revert it back. But the range, right, this is increasing the range as well, is it? Okay, we're doing the square root already elsewhere. Yeah, we're doing it already. Can expand the range here though. C3, E6, C3, E6. 
Okay, so this is uh, SHL4. This is no seizure. This is yes seizure. And the nodes, yeah, almost the same. So, yes, yeah, so the variability between the nodes is still too small to our liking. Here it varied quite a bit. Yeah, we have those edge uh, problems as well when you get to the to the end. Just try quickly. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of noise. Maybe it sounds like music to you. I don't know. Let me know. We're doing a non-linear mapping. I think this range is not large enough. I don't know anything about music, so it's hard for me to tell how, how large this uh, range is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't have enough uh, variability in the power, which is odd, considering there is quite a bit of variability there. Yeah, I think I know what the problem might be. The power, yeah, should be probably something like 0 to 3000 instead of uh, automated. What's the mean? Why are we doing this again? If I just place this, would it rewrite the function or explain it? Uh, this is all very odd. And it obviously didn't work because it's returning all 0.5s. <laughs> I was actually generating some noise. Well, we turn the previous model, just try something more simple. Instead of this two, let's do just zero, because that should be zero. About 3,000. Right, getting a bit more variability there. I want a window size of about four or five, say channel seven. So this should be seizure. This should be no seizure. Uh, the note's actually quite different, so. Yeah, we're having a problem with that last value there. What does it sound on a different shell? Yeah, that seizure really sounded different. Yeah, so seizure has this uh, lower frequencies. So it was seizure. No seizure. Seizure. Yeah, I don't know if you're getting much uh, out of it. Does it sound like music to you? Probably highly unlikely. <laughs> I don't know, it's uh, quite subjective uh, music perception, isn't it? Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, that updated function that you generated did not work. It uh, giving a lot of uh, errors. Now the range now seems to be better. We're getting variable uh, notes when scrolling through the EG data. Can we make sure we have a non-linear mapping? Should it works correctly without errors? Yeah, of course. Why is it suggesting? Is this another function? No, I already have that. Suggesting changing it back to... don't think this will work. Give it a quick go. Let's do channel 5. No, it doesn't work. Normalize power. Revert, revert. Let's check. That it's working again. We'll make any changes. Say which channel do you like? Actually, quite different. To just stuff something up. Yes, we are checking that it is uh, correct or incorrect. I mean, it's highly subjective in this case. So this is how the whole thing sounds. Now the question is, what your window size is? Make it very small, so one second. Doesn't sound like music. My second, the other thing is having issue with this scroller. It's too jumpy. Scroll is too jumpy from HTML scroll mean marks step. Let's make the step one. Yeah, let's make it two. <laughs> Sorry for that. Let's try a step of two. Oh, can you hear this horrible? Like when the notes are transitioning, 
between one another yeah the duration so this duration default should be say 0.5 play frequency it's the volume make duration 0.1 Yeah, it's when the transition is not great. Transition is not great. All the input there, just play the frequency. And yeah, same here. And in default, volume should be good. Duration 0.1. Yes, it's trying to, GPT-4 is trying to change the normalized power function. That doesn't work. All linear mapping. In the map power to node, yes, we could use instead of square root, we can use a power so using exponential function. Not node index, we need transform power. Should have said that this is missing, but it doesn't. It needs to work better. As the transition between nodes is uh, it's really bad, that's something to fix. Should just keep playing until it's changed. Yeah, maybe that's what we can uh, try next time. Just send a prompt for the duration of uh, the note being played. Can we make it so it continuously plays until the scroller is changed again? So essentially when we load the page, nothing happens. When we start scrolling, the note is played until we move the scroller again. Yeah, that sounds good, but why do I have a feeling this code would not work? It's still in development, but we, as you can tell, it's doing something kind of useful, which is loading this EEG that has a seizure in it, epileptic seizure. This is pure EEG, like the highest quality you can get. It's from an implant, from 16 implanted channels, implanted electrodes sitting on top of the brain, eight on the left, eight on the right. Now we want to... This tool uh, allows you to do the noising and other things, but there's another feature. We want it to play sound, which it does. We haven't published it yet. So when you load the page, by the way, it won't show you the whole spectrum because we're taking, we're essentially turning power in each uh, frequency band, delta, theta, alpha, beta, into a corresponding musical note. So you select your channel, scroll through the stuff. And then write in the comments if this sounds like music to you. <laughs> or if you like it or not. If you don't like it, you have to make a suggestion as to how to improve it. You can change your window size and the like. Next time we'll be trying to actually make it play continuously until you move the scroller again. So loading the page doesn't doesn't play anything. We're actually not allowed. The browser won't let us play anything. You select your channel and just start playing. You want to make it so it keeps playing until you move the scroller again and then we'll play the new all notes. We have an event, obviously, for the scroller input. Where is it? Over here. Yes, that's the same. And then we're changing the play frequency function. This function still have volume and duration as an input. Why? Global oscillator. Current oscillator is a global variable that keeps track of the currently playing sound. In play frequency, before starting a new sound, the existing sound is stopped if current oscillator is not null. The file scroller event listener stops the currently playing sound and starts a new one based on the scroller's position. With this setup, when you load the page, no sound will play until you start scrolling. Once you scroll, the sound for the corresponding position will start playing and will continue to play until you scroll again, at which point the sound will change. Okay, we'll continue this uh, next time. Bye for now.